Want to download and play quilt mods in your world? Well, that's what I'll show you in today's video. This video will show you how to download mods using the quilt mod loader. Chapters are provided in the video for you to navigate to the section you want. The first two steps is for those who want to download quilt for the Minecraft launcher. If you're using a mod launcher, which I suggest for playing modded, skip to this moment in the video as the first two chapters are not required. For those who just want to use the Minecraft launcher, proceed to the first step. For quilt, we will need the quilt mod loader. For this, search Minecraft quilt on your web browser and click the link that takes you to quiltmc.org. Press the purple install button over on the left to download the mod loader. From here, you can choose to download the installer for either client or server side. I'll select the client. We can choose to download the installer for either Windows or get the universal jar file. I'm going to select the universal jar file. Before we install Quilt, make sure to create and run your selected version of Minecraft once and have it closed during the installation. For me, I'll create and run a 1.20 installation now and close both the game and the launcher once it's done. With Quilt downloaded, open the installer. If nothing happens or if you recently installed Java, right click the file and select open with Java. A menu like this should pop up. You have the option to install Quilt either for client, essentially single player, or server side for multiplayer. For most cases, select client, select which version of Minecraft you want Quilt to be installed on and the version of Quilt you want to load. Make sure the generate profile is checked on as this will create a profile automatically on the Minecraft launcher. After confirming your directory, press OK. Once Quilt is installed, press OK and run Minecraft. Now you should see a new installation profile of Quilt for your chosen Minecraft version displayed here. If not, select the drop down menu and you should see it here. Now go and run Minecraft with Quilt once and close it once you've loaded into the game. To download and install mods for Quilt, skip to this section of the video now. If you're using a mod launcher, you can install the Quilt mod loader straight into your instance. I'm going to use Prism, but you can use whichever mod launcher you want. With Prism, create a new instance by either clicking this button or right clicking and select create instance. Select which version of Minecraft you want to use. I'm going to select 1.20. Now you have the option to select which mod loader you want. Since we're using Quilt, select it here and the version of Quilt you want downloaded and click OK. For those who don't have this available on their launcher, like with MultiMC, create your instance first. Now go to your instance and select Edit Instance. You should now see an option to install Quilt. Select the version of Quilt you want to install and click OK. Now you can run Minecraft and your Quilt instance should be good to go. Now we want to download a mod of our choosing. If you're not sure which mod you want to download, Modrinth and CurseForge offer a wide range of mods to choose from. For this video, I'm going to download the Display Case mod by ChappyPie on Modrinth. Make sure to read through the mod page to see if there's any mods that are required for this mod to run properly. For display case, we need to download the Quilted Fabric API for this to work properly. You can view the featured versions of the mod on either the left or right hand side, or if you can't find the version you want, go to the Files or Versions tab and find it through there. Since I'm using 1.20, I'll download the version 1.0.4. Make sure when you download the mod that the mod is for Quilt, otherwise it won't work when you run the game. Quilt is an odd case for mod loaders in that it can support and run most Fabric mods. This doesn't work the other way however, Fabric mods won't accept Quilt mods. I'm also going to download the Quilted Fabric API before we continue the installation process. Once your mod is downloaded, we'll need to navigate to the Minecraft directory. For those using the Minecraft launcher, go to the Installations tab and click this folder icon over your chosen Quilt profile. Now go into the Mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, create a folder and call it mods, or lowercase. Now drag your chosen mod into the mods folder and run Minecraft. Do note that some mods can conflict with one another. 
If that's the case with you, you have to troubleshoot to determine which mod or mods are conflicting with one another. To see if our mod or mods are installed, load into a world in Creative, and you should find it either in a separate category or amongst the default Creative tabs. If you're using a mod launcher like AT Launcher or Prism, you can download and install mods directly from the launcher into your current instance. To do this, go to the top right and select the Download Mods button. You can scroll through mods from Modrinth or CurseForge. For me, I'm going to download the Nicer Skies mod. Select your chosen mod to download. Read through the description of your mod to see if there's any mod dependencies. If so, select those to download as well and confirm the download. Now you can run Minecraft and your mod should be there. Do note that some mods can conflict with one another. If that's the case with you, you have to do some troubleshooting to figure out which mod is conflicting with which. If your mod launcher doesn't have this feature, like MultiMC, you must install them manually into your chosen instance. Once you have downloaded your chosen mod, navigate to your chosen cool instance and click View Mods. You can either drag your downloaded mod straight in or click the Add button to locate your downloaded mods. Run your instance and they should be loaded in. That's how to download Quilt and Quilt mods. If those who want to use a different mod loader or want to get started in finding mods, check out these videos here.